guys, so I'm here to do my second review. So I'm going to do a review on the second book in the uh, the Cruel World trilogy called uh, Altered, and it's by Jennifer Albin. And so, pretty much, it's the sequel to Cruel, which I did a review on the last time. More information to the world that we know of Altered. We follow Adelise and her two friends one might be her boyfriend and the other one is a is the is the guard and you find out some more information in the second book that makes a lot more sense in the first book like the fact that um her boyfriend who was also a guard he and the other guard are brothers because she ended up kissing both of them and uh she determined that they had the same lips so, um, they find out that her dad, that she had in the, the world, um, their world, I guess, I forget what their world's name is, Ow. their world, um, her dad wasn't really her dad, so it's kind of trippy, um, so technically she has a father, like her mom, she was pregnant with Adelise when all the stuff started to happen and so you find out there is the guy side to the coolers or to the um spinsters which they're called tailors and the guys can pretty much have they have the same powers as the women do but they can also alter time and they can do other things they can alter people pretty much like they can change your perspective of a person or a thing so at least eventually finds her real dad in this world in just like a regular earth world where they're in like New York or somewhere that is broken down after this whole World War II happens and Hitler Hitler's involved but we don't really want to talk about that so basically what happens is she finds her dad and her dad is a tailor and that's where she gets part of her her from is from her dad but she never realizes that she has him as a dad because he's not necessarily as old as a dad should be. He is like, he. what happens is he pretty much ran away from the world that he met Atlas's mom, mom in. And she, it's like a different time stream sort of. So like while her mom aged in the one world, when the father ran away to the other world, they... He never really aged as she as her mom did, so he didn't wasn't really aware that he had a daughter until there was like this mark on her wrist. I don't really know what it was called, um, or what it looked like, but when she showed him, he automatically knew that she was his daughter, and everything went to hell. But after that, pretty much, you find out the guy that took them all in um, I feel like his name is Dante oh it's Kincaid so Kincaid he pretty much takes them all in from being like refugees and um it doesn't really go so well because you find out that Kincaid is working for both sides so pretty much he's working for his own side which is against the the crawlers and the tailors and all that stuff in the other world and then he's also working just alone and that kind of was a mix-up because they, no one knew about it so it was kind of hard for everybody to understand and I mean it was kind of hard for me to understand too because I was like Kincaid what the hell are you doing you need to either save these people or kill them because you're not making any sense and his his society was kind of mixed up or messed up in a way where he wanted somebody to kill Atlas, but he didn't want somebody to kill her. And he even took in um, one of her stylists um, who was involved in the other world. And she's been altered to be a totally different person. And he did it to her, and I'm like, bruh, calm yourself. She's like, but, okay. After they find out about this, they only had like a whole how long ever they did. And they ended up like figuring out that um, 
pretty much was the the guy who basically could live forever, which pretty much means he had spinsters and everything, everybody rejuvenate him and his genes to the point where he could live forever and he was pretty much alive when this whole war and everything happened, which I think people thought for a long time that it happened years and years ago, but what happened was that people on Earth, they really know that it only happened not that long ago, which I think it was only three or four, maybe three or four days, or it's a really big time jump, but three or four days or a year, I'm not completely sure, but um, it was completely weird because, I, I don't know, like people were like, how am I alive? Like, it's been years, and it wasn't. It was only a few days when this happened, but it made it seem like it was hundreds of years because of all this new technology that they had, but it was different and weird and I think weird but it was good weird not a bad weird I promise and yeah so this was actually a really good sequel to the first one first um book and a four out of five stars um I don't think that was what I really gave it on goodreads but I'm just gonna say four out of five stars just because I need to get this video out of the way because it's the last day of the year and I need to make another video because I need to make my favorite books of 2015 and this one. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say. So if you are any anyhow swayed by how I reviewed this book, you can go and read this. It's actually really, really good. Um, that's all later. So, bye!